Okay, this was on respiratory fitness. I thought this was this was fascinating. And um, for America, you have to put this in the overall plus column in terms of our ability to withstand the spread of this disease. Uh, this is from Carl uh, Quintanilla, who is a reporter and anchor at, C- at CNBC. And he says, the two most important parameters in respiratory fitness, this really matters, right? Because this disease goes for the lungs. That is, that is the, the way that this is, is taking people, uh, taking them out where they have to go to the hospital, and then even some people don't make it through, don't win the fight in the hospital, even if they have intubation, if they're in the ICU. So respiratory fitness is really, really important. And he says the two most important factors in that are, one, now, now one of these is an individual, and look, I, I have a lot of sympathy for people that have any kind of an addiction. I get it. Um, but I'm just looking at the numbers here, looking at the aggregate of what we're facing, whether the person smokes cigarettes. It's very, uh, very important when, it, when you're gauging their respiratory fitness. So I, I'm telling you this because, I'm, you know, I, I know there's a lot of team buck that, you're, you know, you smoke, and I, I'm just looking out for you. You have to consider yourself, if you're a smoker, in a higher risk, even if you're a 35-year-old or a 30-year-old smoker. You got to consider yourself to be in a higher risk category in this. So please take those precautions that people are talking about. I know it's like a little counterintuitive, but if you're a, if you're a long time smoker, I mean, not if you smoke one cigarette a month or something, but if you're a long time smoker and uh, you're in your 30s and your 40s and your 50s, you got to think about this like you're this disease is going to come after you very very possibly like somebody who's in their 70s or their 80s in terms of your lung your ability uh, for your lungs to fight back against this. So you got to be very careful. And the pollution level is the other part of this. That's also a really important indicator for how well, remember, you know, I, I was in China, uh, as I said, a year ago, and I was, I was leaving Shanghai, which usually is not as badly polluted as, as Beijing. And it's, it is like something out of a post-apocalyptic movie when the, and it was still there. And it's apparently a lot better than it used to be. But you can see this, uh, you know, it, I, I can't even really explain it to you. I mean, it just looks like a collection of smog. And when the sun's going down, it kind of bounces off it in a not appealing way. And, you know, you have this, this goo that's all in the air. It's just pollution. And I, by the way, I'm all about conservation. I'm, I'm against pollution. I'm just not against CO2, which plants rely on for air. And, you know, that's CO2 is not a pollutant, but we all have to pretend because the, the green movement is insane. Pollution is bad. And I'm all like, no, no, we do not want these, you know, industrial facilities spewing out acrid smoke that, that hurts your lungs. And, you know, we breathe out CO2. So how, how much of a pollutant is it really, folks? Let's think about that for a second. We're, it's literally coming out of your body every second, and we're supposed to think that's, oh, that's pollution anyway. Don't get me started on that. You know, these days, I'll tell you, there's a part of me, I don't know, I'm a little rebel. You know what I'm not doing these days as we're all, like, in lockdown and trying to stay alive and, and worried about our loved ones? No, they can come after me for the not recycling. Sorry, not doing it. It's going right in the trash. I'm sorry. I don't want to hear about it. More important things. Yeah, recycle. All right, so on smoking and on uh, pollution, the smoking rate and the average pollution levels, here's what you got country by country. China, smoking rate, 47%. Average pollution level, 41%. South Korea, smoking rate, 49%. Average pollution level, 24%. Iran, smoking rate, 21%. Average pollution level, 24%. Italy, 28 smoking rate, pollution, 14. United States, smoking, 19, pollution, 9. This matters. We have a lower percentage of, of smokers, and we have, and this is probably the most important in terms of looking at the aggregate numbers and how this will affect the population of this country overall, we have much cleaner air than these other countries. Now, I know this seems like how can this really matter, this is what it all comes down to is can your lungs get enough oxygen to the rest of your body if and when this thing attacks you? And your lungs, if you are dealing with daily pollution all the time, your lung capacity is affected and the strain on your lungs is already higher. 
So I'm not, look, this is not like, oh, we're great. It's America. We got clean air. So we're not. No, of course, this has still killed people in this country. I think it just killed the first person in New Jersey. It's killed a bunch of seniors out in Washington state. But we're in better shape than a lot of these countries we've already seen from day one because of the health of our population and because of the age of our population. Italy's population is much older than ours um, as a percentage. And then also pollution. Hey, Team Buck, thank you so much for watching the first on YouTube. If you like this video, please click that little thumbs up button so then it will log as liked. And also, if you want to see more great content from the first, please click subscribe.